Hi everyone, Gareth Williams here, specialist orthodontist. I want to talk to you today about tooth decay and how to prevent it, what the causes of it are. If you find these videos helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps me build this channel and get it out to as many patients as possible. I think information in dentistry and orthodontics is something that's lacking for patients. So to talk to you about tooth decay, in reference to orthodontics, tooth decay is an issue that puts the brakes on us being able to start moving teeth. Tooth decay is when bacteria, which are small microorganisms that live in your mouth, get a taste for your teeth. What happens when you have a lot of sugar? What they eventually do is eat into the hard structures of your teeth. And what you do to prevent these problems is lessen your intake of sugar, brush correctly twice a day with a fluoride containing toothpaste. It can be any toothpaste as long as it's over 1450 parts per million and you can see that on the back in terms of limiting your dietary sugar. I'll include links in the description below on reputable sources for what's high in sugar and what's low in sugar. Fizzy drinks are bad because they get in between the teeth and they can do a lot of damage. It's a very aggressive transport medium for sugar. Chewy sweets are bad because when you chew them they stick on the surface that can just help the bacteria chew through your teeth and live underneath there. And chocolate in the same way, it's quite sticky. Other things that will surprise you that have sugar in, crisps like Monster Munch, Watsits, Quavers, lots of biscuits are high in sugar. Milk is a surprising one. So when I was little, milk was thought to be very protective of teeth because of the calcium in it. We now know that milk is probably not that protective for your teeth unless you're a weaning baby. Other things that catch people out, fruit, very high in sugar, also very healthy. Tricky one, it's not fair, is it, life? So what you try to do is limit the amount of fruit in certain measures, we'll come on to that. Smoothies, absolutely terrible for teeth. What you try to do is adopt a balanced way of minimizing sugar in your diet. That's to do with the dietary choices, first of all. So just generally try to limit how much you eat of the sugary things I've mentioned or things like them that you think are high in sugar. We have that traffic light system now, which I think is excellent for giving you an idea, a visual representation of how much sugar there are in food. So try and keep those within the green rather than the red. And then when you do splurge on some sugar, try to have it at meal times only. In terms of tooth decay, you want your snacking to be non-existent really and what I'd eventually suggest that you do is, is even try to limit the amount of sugar that you have at meal times and the reason for this is every time you have sugar the pH of your saliva takes a dip and when the pH takes a dip it becomes more acidic and as that pH dips that's when suddenly all the bacteria you can imagine they're a little bit like terminators they sort of come to life because they're they're supported in an acidic environment so they come to life they all come alive and they start eating away at your teeth and then what they do is they go to the toilet on your teeth and that is called plaque. So when you see that white creamy substance on your teeth that we call plaque, what we actually mean is bacteria poo. It's white just like bird poo and it's white because the bacteria don't want you seeing them, so you can't brush it away so they can keep eating away at your teeth. I'm sorry if this is disgusting, it is 100% true. What I like to do is angle the brush up at 45 degrees, like that. Now can you see, that brush is touching as much of the gums as it is of the teeth. Most people brush like this and totally avoid the gums. Big mistake number one. People think that if they touch the gums, they'll cut the gums. Nothing is more nonsense in the world. When you first brush your gums, everyone's gums should bleed, basically, if you haven't brushed the gums before, because all of this gum line is inflamed. So you brush like this, the gum will bleed. You just get over that and you move on. You keep going round, keep going round, keep going round. Gums bleeding, no one cares. Keep going, keep going round, keep going round. Here I change. Round, 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 round. Biting surfaces. I tend to do, you can do a bit of that on the biting surfaces because it doesn't matter, you're not touching the gums really. But if you want to go round as well, you can. The only place I don't like actual scrubbing is the gums. So if you if you brush like that on the gums, you know, high speed, yes, you might get some gum recession. Even uh, very unlikely as a child, by the way, but you might. But if you do this with a moderate pressure, you will never get gum problems. And then on the insides of the teeth, like that. Same exact thing, round and round. Touching the gum. 
always touching the gum. You want the gum and the teeth clean. And then when you get to the front ones, some people do this, or some people just continue to go round and round and then switch and round and round. Exactly the same for the lower teeth. An interdental brush, which is this, that goes between all of the teeth, all of the teeth, in there, 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 in there. Just any interdental brush like this, get the smaller size until you get good at it, and if you can get a little bigger, use a little bigger one. But this is how quick and easy it is to get an interdental brush around all your teeth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It's the top ones. The top ones are straight. Look at my lower ones, because that's the next excuse you get is my teeth are too crooked. Watch this. One. Oh, tricky one. Two, three, four. More difficult with eyes closed. Five. Look at these crooked ones. Six, seven. Where was I there? Eight. I want it all the way through. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Done. Twenty seconds. There's a point where you mangle these so much that you need to trade them in. But uh, again, you can, you know, I'll happily. That's a bit mangled now. I will happily reuse that another. 10 times, I reckon, before I need to get rid of it. And I've already used this 20 times. Just rinse it with water as you would a normal toothbrush, and that's sufficient. Simples. So you do the first brushing that I showed you, you do this. You don't have to do this every day, but at a minimum I'd be doing this three days a week. And then the toothbrushing, of course, every day, twice a day. 99% of the time, if someone needs a filling or gum work, it's because they're not doing some of those things that I've mentioned in this video. Thanks for listening. Please comment, share and subscribe. Bye now.